Yellowstone National Park is famous for its geysers and stunning landscapes, but it's the supervolcano beneath the surface that intrigues many. The Yellowstone caldera, often featured in documentaries and disaster films, represents the Earth's raw power. Although the last major eruption was about 640,000 years ago, recent research using advanced underground imaging has revealed troubling shifts in the volcanic system. These changes suggest that the volcano's activity is alive and migrating to an unexpected area. This video delves into the new science that has experts warning of a potential massive eruption in the near future, explaining why the Yellowstone supervolcano is back in the headlines. A Shift in Yellowstone's Volcanic Heart For decades, scientists have monitored Yellowstone's geothermal behavior, watching for changes in its geysers, hot springs, and seismic activity. Traditionally, volcanic activity in the park has been centered in the western section, the historical location of magma flow and heat signatures. But that long-standing understanding has now been upended by new geological data. Recent studies reveal that the heart of Yellowstone's volcanic activity is migrating toward the northeast, closer to the Sour Creek Dome region. This finding is based on detailed electromagnetic imaging that offers a clearer view beneath the Earth's surface than ever before. The shift was detected using a method called magnetotellurics, which captures natural electromagnetic signals produced by phenomena like lightning and solar storms. These signals penetrate deep into the Earth and change depending on the materials they move through. Because magma is a strong conductor, researchers can map it by analyzing how these signals travel underground. With this method, scientists identified not just one or two, but seven separate magma reservoirs scattered beneath the caldera. This granular level of detail is reshaping what we know about Yellowstone's potential eruptive behavior. Crucially, the western pockets of magma are cooling. These reservoirs appear to be losing their connection to the deeper, hotter layers of the Earth's mantle, suggesting they're solidifying over time. Meanwhile, the northeastern section remains thermally active, with deep mantle rock still providing heat to the magma stored in that region. The implications are clear. The next volcanic event, whenever it may occur, is more likely to happen in this northeastern corridor than in the park's historically active western regions. Though these findings mark a dramatic shift in our geological map of Yellowstone, they don't necessarily signal immediate danger. The newly identified magma pockets, particularly in the northeast, are still in a semi-solid state. According to scientists like Ninfa Bennington of the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, only a small percentage of these reservoirs contain molten magma far below the threshold needed to trigger an eruption. Nevertheless, the movement of Yellowstone's volcanic energy is a striking and significant geological development. So while the average visitor may be more interested in snapping photos of Old Faithful, the true story of Yellowstone lies underground. The park's volcanic system is evolving, moving, and reshaping itself in a quiet but potentially explosive transformation that scientists are now racing to understand. The Power of Magnetotellurics to understand the recent discoveries at Yellowstone, one has to appreciate the advanced technology behind them. Magnetotellurics, once a relatively obscure geophysical method, has quickly become one of the most valuable tools in volcanic research. By tapping into natural electromagnetic fields generated by solar activity and thunderstorms, scientists can examine what lies miles beneath the Earth's crust without drilling a single hole. For a place like Yellowstone, where access to subterranean features is limited and often dangerous, this non-invasive method is a game-changer. The technology works by measuring how electromagnetic waves change as they move through different subsurface materials. Because magma conducts electricity better than solid rock, it produces a unique electromagnetic signature. Scientists can then use these readings to build three-dimensional maps of magma chambers, identifying their shape, size, and depth. At Yellowstone, this method uncovered four distinct magma pockets beneath the northeastern section, where heat from the mantle is still reaching the upper crust. This level of detail far exceeds what previous tools, like seismic wave imaging, could offer. While earthquake waves provide useful data, they are often influenced by factors such as rock temperature, which makes it hard to distinguish between very hot solid rock and actual molten material. Magnetotellurics circumvents this issue, focusing instead on electrical conductivity. 
the results have offered a far clearer picture of Yellowstone's true volcanic architecture. According to the study published in Nature, the magma in the northeastern pockets lies between six and seven miles beneath the surface in what researchers describe as interconnected pore spaces. These are essentially tiny voids in the surrounding rock that are partially filled with magma, like water soaking into a sponge. Importantly, the magma only becomes mobile, and therefore dangerous, when more than 40% of these pore spaces are filled. Current estimates suggest that Yellowstone's magma levels are around 20% or less, meaning the system is still in a dormant phase. But this kind of dormancy is not static. Over time, as heat continues to rise from the mantle into the northeastern caldera, more magma could accumulate in these pore spaces. The rate of this accumulation is difficult to determine, but researchers are confident that the northeastern region is now the most likely candidate for a future eruption. While it's not a cause for immediate alarm, it certainly warrants increased scientific attention. The new thermal feature near Nymph Lake. Another eye-opening development at Yellowstone involves a newly discovered thermal vent located just north of the Norris Geyser Basin. Unlike past geological changes that often go unnoticed by the public, this one is clearly visible from the road, a plume of steam rising in the forest, discovered in 2024 and confirmed to be an entirely new geothermal feature. While it might look like just another curiosity in the park's already surreal landscape, its emergence has added fuel to ongoing discussions about the supervolcano's activity. Scientists from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory first spotted the new vent during a routine survey last summer. After crossing a marshy area, they found the vent spewing 171 degree Fahrenheit steam from a wooded hillside surrounded by pale gray clay, an indicator of freshly disturbed geological activity. Although vents like this are not uncommon in Yellowstone, what made this one noteworthy was its sudden appearance and visibility from a public roadway capturing the attention of both geologists and curious tourists alike. Mike Poland, the USGS scientist in charge of the observatory, was quick to downplay fears. He described the appearance of new thermal features in Yellowstone as mundane, stressing that the underground hydrothermal system is in a constant state of flux. New vents open while others close. Geysers erupt more frequently one year and go dormant the next. Still, even Poland acknowledged that the vent's location and visibility made it an unusually conspicuous addition to the park's dynamic landscape. This new thermal activity fits into the broader narrative of Yellowstone's evolving underground systems. While it may not be directly connected to the magma shifts identified through magnetotelluric imaging, it signals that the park's subsurface conditions remain highly active. In geological terms, that's a reminder that even though we may not see lava flows or explosive ash clouds, the engine beneath Yellowstone is still very much alive. As tourists gather this season to snap pictures of the steam column, scientists will continue monitoring its behavior, looking for changes in temperature, gas output, and longevity. The vent may disappear as quickly as it appeared, or it could evolve into a permanent geothermal feature. Either way, its presence offers another data point in the ever-growing puzzle of Yellowstone's complex volcanic system. Volcanic Dormancy and Geological Timelines Despite all the activity below the surface, it's essential to keep Yellowstone's geological timeline in perspective. The most recent eruption occurred 640,000 years ago, and the last lava flow happened approximately 70,000 years ago. From a human standpoint, that seems like a lifetime ago. But geologically, Yellowstone is still in a relatively active phase. The challenge lies in the vast difference between human and geological timescales, which can often lead to misinterpretations of what active truly means. The idea of a supervolcano about to erupt often conjures dramatic imagery, but the term is relative. Even with all the new data, the scientific consensus is that a major eruption is still likely hundreds of thousands of years away. The magma under Yellowstone remains mostly immobile and the necessary conditions for an eruption. A critical percentage of liquid magma, significant ground deformation, and increased seismic activity are simply not present. That said, scientists aren't letting their guard down. Continuous monitoring efforts involve a blend of magnetotelluric imaging, seismic studies, GPS tracking of ground uplift, and gas emissions from geysers and hot springs. 
This multi-pronged approach ensures that any significant changes in the volcanic system will be detected early, long before they pose a real threat. Still, the evolving magma system revealed in the northeast is drawing increased focus. Unlike the cooling western section, the northeastern caldera remains connected to deep mantle heat sources. This ongoing interaction suggests that the area could one day become the focal point for volcanic activity, although that day is likely far beyond any of our lifetimes. For now, Yellowstone remains both a natural wonder and a geological mystery. While eruptions are not expected in the near future, the shifting conditions beneath the surface are telling a story of gradual change, slow buildup, and the immense power that lies dormant, waiting, perhaps for a time we cannot yet imagine. The Road Ahead, Science, Surveillance, and Unanswered Questions With so much attention on Yellowstone's recent findings, the scientific community is already planning follow-up studies to refine our understanding of the park's underground dynamics. Future research will combine various techniques, including seismic imaging, ground deformation analysis, and geochemical testing, to create a more comprehensive model of the caldera's interior. One area of interest is the northeastern magma reservoir, which, according to current data, holds the highest likelihood for future eruptive activity. Researchers will track its thermal changes over time to determine how quickly it's heating and whether additional magma is accumulating. This process is expected to unfold slowly, more like watching a glacier melt than waiting for a volcano to blow. Another priority involves mapping the connectivity of magma pockets. Scientists want to know whether magma in these newly discovered reservoirs is isolated or could one day link up, creating a larger and more dangerous system. If enough pore spaces fill and magma becomes mobile, the risk of eruption increases significantly. At present, though, Yellowstone's magma appears dispersed and largely stable. Meanwhile, the public's fascination with Yellowstone's supervolcano shows no signs of cooling. Every new discovery reignites interest, with headlines ranging from cautious optimism to full-blown alarmism. But most scientists stress that education and awareness are the keys, not fear. Yellowstone is a living laboratory, one that offers unprecedented opportunities to study volcanic behavior in real time under relatively stable conditions. Ultimately, the story of Yellowstone is far from over. As more data rolls in and models improve, we'll get closer to understanding this geologic giant's full potential. For now, the message from researchers is clear. The caldera is evolving, but not erupting. And with continued observation, we'll be ready whenever the Earth decides it's time. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think scientists are doing enough to monitor Yellowstone's changing volcanic activity? Or do these new discoveries suggest we should be taking the threat more seriously?